Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Malik Jo 34 channel. This is Malik Arjun. In this today's session, I wanted to cover about uh, what are the uh, database release numbers indicates. Uh, for example, 11G or 12C or 19C, if you can read them, like 11204 or 12102 or 12201 or 19.3 or 19.5, whatever these numbers are, whatever these release numbers, right? What these number indicates and what is the release uh, number changing from compared with the 11G and 12C with this latest 19 I am going to cover uh, all of this and along with that I am going to uh, say something about the support timelines. What is the Oracle support timeline and you know what uh, what happens to the 11204 11G database support timeline when it is going to end and what about uh, 121 or 122 database when those two database support is going to end and what about this 19C that is the latest release and till uh, which year uh, this 19C is supported everything I'm going to cover it in this today's session uh, you know before I start with this uh, today's session if you are new to my channel always go back to YouTube and search for Malik034 and then please do subscribe and if you like my videos please share like and comment and if you missed out my previous videos you can always refer it in my YouTube channel okay let's go to the next slide uh, you know uh, if you can see this particular slide i just gave an example uh, comparison with the uh, you know uh, you know comparing with this 11g and then this latest uh, 19c release if you can see uh, this 11g 11204 series right like 11204 and this particular date whatever the date whatever the PSU whatever the bundle patch whenever whichever the quarter Oracle used to release the patch that date we used to mention it here uh, similarly with whatever the release it is uh, 11 11 1 uh, 11 1 series or 11 2 or 12 dot 1 or 12 dot 2 series whatever the series date it is going to be like this right if you can compare with this first uh, you know first digits that is 11 G 11 G G or 12 C this this digit stand for the major version and the uh, this uh, the second digit second uh, decimal like this this particular decimal uh, you know uh, talks about the release uh, basically either we 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 used to see release 1 or release 2 in 11g release 1 or 11g release 2 uh, similarly 12c release 1 and 12c release 2 similarly 2 release we used to see it here uh, if i can quickly go to that particular uh, naming uh, you know uh, the the versioning so before i go here if i can quickly go back uh, here this is this is the particular oracle document and if you can see here the 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 first decimal is about the major release or the major version and the second uh, decimal uh, is about the uh, the release update release update as i said like it is going to be release 1 or release 2 if you compare with 11g or 12c it's going to be release 1 11g release 1 or 11g release 2 or 12c release 1 or 12c release 2 and this particular third decimal talks about release update and uh, revision version so if any 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 release update if they they can re-release it so they used to update that one usually that would not happen but uh, in case if they re-release the version they used to update that particular number and uh, the, the this one is the path set as you can see here the incremental version in in com in compared with uh, uh, you know 19c and all they will call it as incremental version uh, earlier it was like path set and this particular uh, uh, you know uh, the last uh, decimal is about the path set update you can see revised uh, revised for the future use or the like path set update i can say that basically PSU or the bundle patch uh, update whatever you you do it right uh, this 11g stands for uh, 12c as well and uh, coming with this uh, uh, 19c similarly 19.5.0.0 and then the patch set update similarly this 19 uh, this decimal will stands for the uh, major version and this is uh, going to be uh, the release update earlier if you can see in 11g and 12c it is going to be release 1 or release 2 but here in this 19c it's going to be release update for every quarter this release is going to be updated like uh, 19.1 19.2 19.3 19.4 19.5 and 19.6 similarly you know it will be goes on for every quarter release and then these are like uh, as i said uh, you know the, the third, third decimal is going to be uh, the revised update for the the version 
revised version and this the the fourth decimal is for incremental version and then the final one is for your patch set update that is for the future use you know every quarter if you update that the, the date will be uh, the reflected here so if i can go to the next slide so then you will be clear understanding about what i'm talking here okay so if you can see here like i, I had a comparison with 11g and 12c and then the 19c so that will give you more understanding or more clarity uh, before i go with this 11g 12c and 19c as you all know as we all know like oracle will release uh, the patches in four quarter q1 q2 q3 q4 that basically jan april uh, uh, july and october right so if uh, if you just keep it remember these two quarter these four quarters and that will help it here in this uh, clear understanding as i say like 11g is a 11 is a major version and the the, the one or two is the release one or release two similarly 12c 12 12 is a major version and 12.1 and 12.2 right this 12.2 and this 12.1 1 and 2 are the uh, the release uh, if you, if i can go back here i can you can see here this two standard right? release release basically one or two uh, in 11g or 12c whatever it is uh, in, in 10g also and the release is going to be one or two so in 11.1 it's going to be 11.1 11.10 and whatever the uh, whatever the uh, version site right? whatever the path set uh, if you can go here uh, 12101 12102 12103 12104 whatever the version they will give that used to be uh, updated here and coming to the 12.2 uh, it's going to be 12.2 uh, you know 1202 3 12 to 0 4 12 to 0 uh, 12 to 0 3 and 12 to 0 4 are the major uh, one we worked uh, most stable version 12 to 0 4 we worked uh, on that 12 to 0 4 right so uh, if we can compare with this 12 to 0 4 alone with the examples whenever oracle release the patches on jan 2020 it's going to be 12 to 0 4 this 2020 january 14 Similarly, if the Oracle release patches on April, it's going to be 12 to 04, 2020 and 04 is April and the 14 is the date. And similarly, uh, July 2020, that's going to be 11 to 04, 2020 and 07 is July and 14 is the date of release. So the patch uh, complete uh, whenever you apply the bundle patch as a PSU, the patch uh, is going to pass it is going to be like this and similarly with the 12c also the two releases 12.1 and 12.2 and in 12.1 in, in you can see 12.1.0.12 whatever it is and in 12.2 also you can go with the 12.2.0. Uh, whatever the 0 0.1 0 0.2 whatever the release it is right so if i can give you example only for this 12.2 it's going to be 12.201 and 12.201, 12.201, this is only for 12.2 series, I'm going to give you example here. It's going to be 2020, 2020 January, 14 is the date, 2020 and April and 14 is the date, 2020 Ju uh, July and 14 is the date. This is going to be uh, date, right? So this is going to be uh, the bundle patch or the, the PSU release for this 12c series and if you can compare with this 11g and 12c are going to be similar in the patch set release or the whatever the versioning or whatever the numbering and compare with the 19c it is going to change uh, completely with the comparison with uh, 12c or 11g if you can see here uh, the 12c uh, what the naming convention they came up with uh, they will start with the you know uh, i will just quickly keep it down here this one okay so this is going to be my january 2020 so that is 19c and that is 600 and this is going to be date 2020 january 14 and april it is going to be 19.7 and it's going to be date and july it's going to be 19.8 and 00 and this is the date and the next release is going to be on october and the the probably this october date is going to be uh, i'm just giving it here it's going to be 19.9 after 8 9 and 00, 0 and uh, it's going to be 2020 and october is a 10 and the date is 14 
and it's going to be October 2020 right this is this is the the naming convention they are following it with the 19c and similarly if I go with this uh, uh, 11g uh, if at all if they release 11g patch it's going to be uh, 11 to 04 and this is going to be only change here the month and the this entire version is going to be keep as it is and it's going to be October here right and if if I can go with this uh, 12c also 12c also is going to be same uh, the the versioning and everything is going to be same 12 to 01 and 2020 and the month is going to change it to 10 and the, the, the release is for October 2020 so this is how the, the, the naming convention is uh, changed from 11g to 19c uh, if you don't aware of this one and you know this is going to be the future uh, date naming convention and these are the two document basically talks about the the release uh, you know the release schedule and current release and the support uh, uh, you know uh, implementation I already opened here these two and the release update information when they release and what what support they are going to give and this is going to be uh, the support timeline so my next slide is going to talk about uh, the support timeline if you can see here 11204 is is currently in extended support and that extended support is going to end by 2020 after that 2020 there is no more patches for 11204 and if you can see this color coding here this is error correction with the paid market driven support this is going to be market driven support and you know this the oracle is not going to release any any more patches for 11204 and if you can see this 121 or 122 121 is going to uh, you know end by uh, this extended support is going to end by uh, somewhere in mid of uh, 20, 2022 and 12 12 to 0 1 is going to end uh, you know this can see limited error correction that's going to end by 2021 and 18c 18c currently it is in the in the premier support that is going to end by mid of 2021 and if you can see this uh, 2000 it's a uh, this 19c 19c is going to uh, you know it is in a premier support till mid of 2024 and it is in extended support till 2027 and you know it is better to you know go ahead with this 19c database because you know once you upgrade your database to the 19c and you will get a support till end of this 2027 so that is going to be longest running support uh, you know announced by oracle uh, you know uh, it's better to go go with this uh, 19 C or you know uh, the later of 19 C or 20 C whatever the later relates so the right now think of the support uh, perspective 19 C is going to be long running long supported release so it's better to migrate to the 19 C database uh, you know if you are if you are the the, the, the prior version so that's it uh, for the today's session uh, you know the support uh, timeline uh, the one of the key point is 11g database support extended support is uh, the going to end by this December and after that there are no more patches for 11204 and the the, the next uh, two year support they are giving that is a market driven support that is going to be absolutely paid service so you know uh, and very 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 limited patches you can you can see it out uh, for a uh, for, uh, for, uh, for bug and there is no PSU and there is no CPU and there is no uh, SPU for 11.204 and the 12.1 and 12.2 they will be uh, supported till the end of 2021 and you know till uh, mid of 2022 and 18C it is in the premier support till uh, uh, this 2021 and later they will announce for extended support or whatever it is that's a future plan and if you come with this 19c 19c is the long running and you know it's better to migrate our database to the 19c and uh, if you can if you have any doubt in this 11g and 12c and 19c versioning so you know uh, uh, 11g and 12c it is going to be straightforward uh, that is the the legacy the old naming convention and coming with this 18c or 19c or 20c whatever the future release they are going to do it and you know, this is this is going to be the naming convention they are going to update 
the the, the the that those are going to be release update for every quarter so earlier the release update is very one or two but now it's going to be release update for uh, every quarter if you can see this this particular the release update release update is going to uh, change for every quarter that is the plan for this so uh, the future releases from the oracle side so that's it from today's session thank you guys uh, I'll, I'll come up with a new topic in my uh, next session thank you